Let me say first of all uh, that for Nestle partnerships and working together between um, business and education sector is crucial because when we launched um, our youth initiative back in 2013 actually we found that in countries where there is a strong collaboration between the world of education and the business then employment is actually better huh? so uh, more people more young people at work and that is the fundamental part of that is the fundamental part of Nestle Needs Youth huh? because Nestle Needs Youth is actually about setting up dual learning schemes what is dual learning schemes it's actually working together with with schools universities and then the students are working let's say and learning most of the time at uh, our premises, Nestle premises or other businesses, and the other part they are studying at the school, at the university. So that is the crucial element of, of Nestle Needs Youth. Um, and we have set up since um, the start of Nestle Needs Youth about 760 uh, of such schemes across Europe and 20 countries. We are not doing it alone, we are doing it with other partners as well from the Alliance for Youth. We have more than 200 other companies that are working with us that have the same kind of mindset. We feel that by doing this, really you make the people ready um, and there is a match really between what is expected later on by the employer and what can be given by um, the education sector. And it's not only good for the, the student, but it's also good for, uh, for the school, the university, for the teachers that are then also changing their ways of how they educate and it's up to date with, uh, with the needs. Huh? So um, maybe just a few examples there because I think that is the, the best way how to do it. I think there are two things. So there is the, um, the way how we engage is first of all, providing the opportunities to their students to come during their studies to work part-time, 40%, 50% of their time at our premises to learn in practice about what they are studying. Yeah? And that is, I think, the crucial thing. And we are doing this, for example, for engineering students, for PhD students on nutrition, um, supply chain uh, students, all kind of students. So that is dual learning, um, uh, really working at our premises while studying. That is one thing. The second thing uh, where we are working with universities is really working together to develop and change the, um, the material, the courses, uh, the curricula, um, and really bringing in our expertise, showing what has changed in the marketplace, and changing really the reality of what is being teached. Huh? And sometimes we are also giving our own employees, for example, I have an example there from, from Malta where we are working on logistics. There we have our own people in logistics that are going out there and giving part of the lessons, whilst also some of the students then can come uh, to Nestle and, and see how it works in practice and be part of the logistics chain, let's say. So the recruitment process, since we have introduced our uh, Nestle Needs Youth program, has fundamentally shifted. Huh? Because dual learning means people are coming at your premises, doing part of their, 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 whilst they are studying, working with you, experiencing. So it means actually that you get to know the people already whilst they are studying with, and they don't yet have their degree. So basically, um, it's a new pool of uh, young people that you can recruit from. And in many cases, we do not only see if they are good at what they are studying, let's say nutrition or, or sustainability, but also if they function well in a team, if they can work together, if they communicate well. So this is very important, let's say soft skills that we also experience. So that is very important to see that that has shifted uh, in terms of recruitment and of course there are other elements as well. Those young people that then are working with us, part of our program is as well that they go out and notably back to their universities or their schools and explain what is their experience, what is their job 
um, so that other young people can understand that, maybe also get to know the company, the purpose of the company and so on, and attract it to come. So those two elements are, are very important elements together with other elements like um, digital recruitment, of course, which, which is logic these days, but I think the first two are, are, are even more relevant.